Yeah, hey there, Pedro and Samantha. This smash and grab happened in the middle of the day in the middle of a very busy shopping center. And after looking at the video, police believe the same robbers in this case may be responsible for some robberies in some other cities. The sound was deafening, deafening. Allen, the owner of Jewels by Allen in Irvine, was in his store in this shopping center near Jamboree and Mickelson when three masked men came rushing in right around noon on Monday. This guy walk, runs in, black, total black, black hoodie, black mask, and he has a sledgehammer with a big um, black bucket, banging and shouting very loudly. By the time they were done, Irvine police say the thieves got away with about $900,000 worth of jewelry. I do all of my own jewelry. I design some of it. I do all of the production of it. So these are like my babies. They just, I mean, look, look what they did. And they took everything out. The MO of the robbery looked a lot like two other recent robberies at Ontario Mills Mall and in Downey, where, like in the Irvine case, the thieves brought small trash cans to put the jewelry into. So based on the video that I've seen, it looks like these robberies are associated with two other robberies in Ontario and Downey. Uh, and what makes it unique is the tall kitchen sized trash cans were also used in those robberies. So it's most likely this crew is the same crew. We got a huge problem. Safety is an issue. I think, I think we need police protection. We need, and this happened, I mean, Look how crowded this parking lot is. There's no place to park. And if you know that shopping center, that is a very crowded shopping center. It is hard to find a place to park. It's hard to get in and out of sometimes. So that's why he thought being located there, he was safe from this kind of crime happening to him. Obviously, he was not. Now, police say they are still looking at video, surveillance video, that kind of thing, to try to get a better description of what kind of car these robbers may have gotten away in. For now, reporting live here in Irvine, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.